A San Francisco bar's Yelp page was temporarily disabled after a review that claimed anti-Asian racism happened at the bar, and there was an attack on an 18-year-old boy. Now let's get into the story. This bar, Gino and Carlo, is being accused of anti-Asian racism after this TikTok was shot there. Sofia Inguiado, mother of 18-year-old CJ Inguiado, posted a video on TikTok detailing an attack on her son outside of local bar Gino and Carlo. The video, which has almost a million views, shows CJ's eyes looking bruised and swollen. Sofia even included photos of Gino and Carlo, as well as co-owner Frank Rossi's Facebook profile. If you're Asian, this is the type of service you get waiting for pizza in Little Italy North Beach, San Francisco. And Sophia took to her own Facebook to talk about everything that actually happened. The Facebook post also reads, Frank Rossi repeatedly forced my son to get off the table because he wasn't 21 and he doesn't belong there. When my son insisted he was waiting for his family, Rossi deliberately collected our belongings. He called my son a d and hovered over my son and punched him. And this of course is all happening as everyone is trying to stop Asian hate. Because according to Stop AAPI Hate, nearly 3,800 incidents were reported over the course of roughly a year during the pandemic alone. And some of these incidents, as we know, have been caught on camera, raising awareness of the issue on social media even more. For instance, there was this incident back in January, where surveillance footage shows an 84-year-old man being shoved to the pavement in San Francisco and this one of a woman fighting for her life. Other surveillance footage shows a 91-year-old man being shoved from behind in Oakland, California. That incident even prompted actors Daniel Wu and Daniel Day Kim to offer $25,000 to find the person who did that. But back to this story, according to SF Gate, there is discussion that the family was actually intending to order pizza from the pizzeria located next to Gino and Carlo, but the incident is still under investigation. If you're Asian, this is the type of service you get waiting for pizza in Little Italy. No, no it's not. That's just what happens when an entitled a** from Los Angeles comes to the Bay Area and starts talking reckless in Little Italy. It wasn't racism. It wasn't even an employee of the restaurant. I mean, to keep it a buck fifty, it's not even a restaurant. It's a bar. The seating area here is for the bar. The restaurant you were going to is right here. So Gino and Carlo, they are associated with the business next door, the pizza place, but they're not the same business. Gino's can lose their business license if they let underage people sit in their canopy area. So at the end of the day, you came up here, started talking reckless, and got clocked by a patron who was with the and now you're mad about it. Rossi told KPIX5 he went nuts when the man arrested hit CJ Anguiato, saying, I could not believe he did it. There was no threat, no threat. I was completely caught off guard by it. But wait, I thought Rossi was the guy who did it. He added, I want to say that they're mistaken. Their son shouldn't have been hit. The man arrested doesn't work for us. He never did work for us. He's just a customer. Sorry it happened, but it wasn't racism at all or a hate crime against Asians, he told the outlet. And Gino and Carlo also released a statement via its Yelp page on April 4th, saying, an unfortunate incident occurred on our property between two patrons when an underage guest refused to leave. No Gino and Carlo employees were involved in the physical altercation. We don't condone violence or racism of any kind. Sincerely, Frank Rossi and Gino and Carlo staff. Of course, people on social media have been very vocal about the issues going on surrounding Asian hate by starting the hashtag Stop Asian Hate. These have prompted major brands like Nike, Tommy Hilfiger, HBO, and so many more to speak out against Asian hate and to raise money for organizations supporting the causes. So while this incident is under investigation, it is obvious that there is a huge issue still around anti-Asian racism, and none of this should be tolerated. There needs to be change at a federal, local, and citizen level. So what do you think actually went down? Let us know. Hit us up on social media at What's Trending. I'm Shira Lazar. We'll see you soon. To report an incident and to donate to Stop Anti-Asian Hate, go to StopAAPIHate.org.